Hello, and we are back. Sterling Machinery Exchange Live Instagram Demo Day 2023. Happy to have everybody here. We're going to have Flo join us from Kent, Washington. They're going to give us a tour. There we go. Hi, everybody. Hey, Andrea, can you turn, turn your phone uh, the other way? Go. Turn your phone sideways. There we go. All right. Are you guys ready? All right, looks like we're ready to go. Please introduce yourself and give us a tour of your amazing facility. Hi, everybody. My name is Water Jet. Come on in. This is our. We're glad to have. Uh, glad to welcome you from uh, Sterling Machinery for your virtual open house. This is uh, again Flo Waterjet in Kent, Washington. Hours from Oregon, right here in Seattle. Uh, this is our customer. But this one's important because we interact with our customers here. Um, they come, they send their employees to train. So we'll go through that in a minute. But first, let's learn a little bit about WaterJet. If you don't know what a WaterJet is, it's basically taking super high pressure water and using it to erode through material or to fabricate. So, um, we're having a little bit of a delay here on the flow. Maybe make sure your Wi Fi is off flow. Okay. So, got the high pressure water. But one of the things that uh, Flo brought to the table was abrasive water jet. So there's various kinds of, of garden sand. And we add it to that high pressure water in the nozzle, which is what our uh, Dr. Hashish here, who still works at this company almost 50 years later, that's what he There's a venturi effect. And what um, but even titanium, aluminum, stainless. Uh, and you can also cut things like carbon composites, stone and glass, um, just, just a wide variety of materials. Honey Carpets, ceramics, all kinds of things. So, versatile fabrication tool. System globally. Um, just get Seems like we're having a little bit of a lag. I know everybody's trying to watch and we're going to make sure we get everything going. Flo, if you can go ahead and maybe turn off your Wi-Fi on your phone, that should help with the lag a little bit. See if that'll help and we'll keep moving on. Uh, so in comparison to some of the other uh, processes, water jet's much more versatile. And it's, it comes out with a cleaner edge right off the part, no heat affected zone like you see on plasmas and lasers. But one of the great things we know about flow is all the different materials that you can cut. Metals, rock, steel, ceramics, plastics, just about everything. 
Exactly. All right, why don't we head inside and we'll learn a little bit more about what's going on. Around. This is our patent wall. This is uh, something we're very proud of. Flow has over 400 patents with, in relation to WaterJet. Um, here's 125 of them right here. Um, most of these are going to be around high pressure pumps. So they have things like pump seals and, and uh, various parts of pumps that create that high pressure because we have the, the biggest product lineup in pumps in the industry. Uh, a lot of it is also to do with cutting heads and taper compensation and different nozzle patents that have, have put us to the forefront of the industry. And then also software patents. So a lot of engineering time over the years, um, definitely flow leads in innovation. And by leading with innovation, we lead the industry. Let's have a look at some of our, our uh, cutting heads real quick before we get to the lab. Five over here, the standard water jet. You're going to have, like I said earlier, either the water only cutting heads or the Pazer 4 abrasive cutting heads. These cutting heads work on a three axis X, Y, and up and down of the Z. We put those on, we can put those on any of our machines. Uh, in the middle over here, the dynamic water jet that, that was invented for taper compensation. So that gives you a cleaner part, flatter part, especially when you're cutting thicker materials. It works in concert with the software to take the taper out of the part. And then the Pivot Plus on the right and the Dynamic XD on the far left here are five axis cutting heads. They also have taper compensation. And, and they have the ability to lay over at 60 degrees both ways. So we call that five axis. So you can cut bevels, chamfers, countersinks, and more complex geometries. Five axis is becoming a bigger part of the market and it allows people to design more complex parts. But enough talk about this one. We head back to the demo lab. Looks um, like you basically have the whole history of water jets over there. I know you guys have been around basically longer than anybody. Your pumps are. Uh, Really, you guys have got some amazing technology in them. Very, very yeah. amazing machines. Great machines. Yeah, let's go look, look at a few. We also have a pump room. We can check out a few pumps, too. This is my favorite part right here. A really cool part about this, this facility is you could send pieces into them, and they can cut them on different machines with different pumps. They'll be able to know exactly how long it's going to take you, what the parts are going to look like when they're done. You'll get some samples and you'll be able to know exactly what you're going to get if you buy a water jet. Yeah, that's a really good point. We do get uh, materials delivered from uh, prospective clients and existing clients all the time. Our applications engineers are here figuring out what their problem might be and how to, uh, how to solve it. You know, it might be something about fixturing. It might be what pump pressure, what nozzle they're using. So yeah, it's a pretty big resource for our, our customers. Um, and what you were just talking about, cut times, et cetera. Here's, a, here's our Mach 100. This is just a, a smaller table we have. It's a four by four. This is one of our best sellers, all steel construction. Like all our, or most of our systems, you have a remote control station uh, we just cut some we, we took off the conventional head earlier this, this morning we were cutting steel on it yesterday and today it has a water only cutting head on here so this morning we, we ripped out this part out of some pretty thick foam uh, took about a minute and a half and a uh, very nice clean edge all with water only cutting uh, the Mach 100s are very versatile, can cut any material. Um, you can see it's ball screw driven. It does come in bigger sizes. This is a common small size, the 4x4, but we, we'll go 6.5 feet by 10 feet, 
we'll go six and a half feet by 13 feet. Um, and it's uh, kind of our basic product starting on the bottom of the product. Every uh, you'll have a hopper, and that's where your garlic sand is. So the hopper would be that. In this particular one, the CF900 has a continuous flow. You can, you can load the garden or brace it in there while the machine's running. But we're worried about the saw. Uh, in this case, the pump's behind that room, but we'll look at pumps here in a minute. So there's definitely some room involved in, in having a water jet. You're going to have not only the base, but you're going to have the pump and the hopper. But once all those are in place, you're, you're doing all your work just there on the table tool area. That's right. That's right for sure. Um, but of course, a lot of, a lot of our clients need more space. Here's one of our bigger tables. And this is a brand new machine, the 200C. Uh, this one's 13 feet long, six and a half feet wide. It has a canted grip style. You can see I can take the right off the cutting area. So lots of room for loading and unloading. Uh, this would be a great one for stone slabs or big sheets of aluminum if you're cutting that. Um, this machine also comes in smaller sizes, a 10 foot length or uh, four by four as well. Uh, being brand new, it has newer electronics in it, so the, and the motors are very fast. As you can see this cutting in zipping up here. So earlier today, we, this is our pivot plus five axis cutting head again. So we have this uh, 3CM stone slab of, uh, actually it's engineered stone, and we were able to cut a nice mitered edge for a classic waterfall on a, on a piece of, uh, out of this piece of stone. Does that have the special piercing tip so it won't crack the, uh, the materials? Yes, uh, ultra pierce we call that, which is a vacuum assisted pierce. So the garnet and the water can hit the brittle material at the same time and pierce properly without shattering. Great Good point. for stone work, stuff like that. So that's that's yeah. what you need when you're cutting glass. I have some glass samples right here. Uh, when you're cutting glass or maybe a G10 that has some holes in it, I believe. Uh, or any brittle materials you're going to want to that back assist. Uh, we can also look at some of the other things, another stone countertop. Just cut. Or a miniature right. one. And uh, we have a wide variety of parts here we can use. But back to the 200C, so that's a great brand new machine. Um, it has a little brother over here. Built with the same technology. Obviously, inside it runs like a 200 C, so it has a canted bridge, a 4x4 four four cutting area. But it also has, obviously, this advantage of being able to cut enclosed. So, so this is great in an R&D facility or in a sh shop with limited space. You might have uh, other machines nearby, so you need to kind of contain the water depth. Um, control stations attached in this case. But it's also a very accurate machine. So great for all kinds of applications. And I can put any water or any uh, cutting head I want on there. Give it plus five axis, water only, conventional, or in this case, dynamic. Great little system there. And right now the echo jet's just in this four by four, or four three inches by four feet three. Um, before we get to the cutting, I want to show you a couple more ancillary equipment. Uh, so here's a here's a typical hopper for the five hundred uh, pound for the uh, Mach two hundred. 
and steep. That's where your garnet's stored and then burst. Uh, we also have garnet removal systems. So this is a abrasive transfer. This is a one-time, basically a big shot back. When your when your capture tank fills up, you might throw, you throw in the hose, shut this baby, and it'll suck out up a hundred gallons a minute to get all that garnet back in, and then you can lift the bag up, forklift, and get rid of your used garnet. So those are available as extras. And you might see these on all of our machines. This is just a, a final filter system, a tier that cleans the water that comes out of the uh, catcher tank. So tier system, and then it can just go down the drain. Some people need that, and depending on the rules in their municipality. Um, quick look at some pumps. Uh, we talked about how how many how flow has uh, so many pump patents and has led the way in high pressure pumps. We make both direct drive pumps and fire pumps. Those are two different families. This is one of our best selling direct drive pumps. We've got the, in this case, a 30 horsepower motor spinning. Using this triplex to create the high pressure water. This pump will create 60,000 psi at relatively low energy output, so it's very efficient. Um, and we sell a lot of these with our Mach 100 system. But we'll also sell intensifiers on all our systems. This is a MotoJet family. We have several MotoJet families. You can, again, you can have a 50 horse or 30 horse motor. This has hydraulic advantages. This is going back and forth, creating high pressure of both ends. Easy to maintain this, still creating 60,000 psi, but I can uh, take this off and put a spare on it. Well lit, quiet, uh, easy to work on. That's the motor jet. And then the King Daddy over here is the uh, Hyperjet. In this case, it's a, it's a dual intensifier, 100 horsepower. And these are the intensifiers that operate at 87,000 PSI. And they're certified up to 94,000 PSI. So the highest pressure in the Hyperjet. And those are what power the Mach 500 and Mach 700 systems, which is what we're going to go down now. So the reason you would want hyper pressure is you cut faster, quite a bit faster, 35% on average. You also use about 30% less garnet. The parts you're cutting cost or come out lower than the cost. So if you're in a higher production environment, hyper pressure at 87,000 K, the way to go. Got two 500s out here. This is a, a 500, six and a half feet by six and a half feet, 2020 we call that. Um, that's being set up for sample cut right now. So we're going to go over to this bigger one. Mach 500 4020, which is 13 feet by six and a half feet. Mach 500 have the fastest motors, they have the highest tolerance. They're really uh, our flagship premium water jet. Uh, this particular one has a, it's going to be running on the hyper pressure, like I said. What has the five axis? Dynamic XT cutting head on it. Today we're going to cut three eighths of aluminum and let's do it. We've got a part design that'll show you some of the capabilities of five axis. And we'll leave the screen down. You guys ready for some cutting? Do it. Pump 
pump is on, you're gonna pierce. So you can see the water in the tank, that's going to go down, you're going to get a spark, everything around, everything will be sitting in that bin when you're done to be cleaned out. Nice clean cuts out of that guy. There we go. We got the baffle on the top of the stuff here. This, this has some angle to it as well. Now using the water and the and the garnet that keeps the piece still cool to the touch, right? Yeah. For sure. It doesn't heat everything up, so you don't have to worry about that for your next step, any marring or anything like that. No, it's just it's just a little wet. We, we can dry it off. We always have an air gun right here as well. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, uh, that's a Mach 500 in action. Uh, uh, we have a lot of other sample parts here. If you, People often ask, how thick can you cut? And that's usually just a matter of how far your Z axis goes. There's a four, four inch cut we did on a, some solid stainless. Uh, but we can also do some very intricate work with the same setup. Here's a little, little fish we cut out, out of titanium. It's barely a millimeter, not even a millimeter thick. Um, same same, same giant machine can do both of those or other five axis type of work. Wow, that's a pretty intricate part right there. Yeah, you know, the, the intricacies of some of these parts. And it's because also with hyper pressure, you can use a smaller orifice and have tighter um, cert, uh, cornering. Yeah. Well, that's really, really an amazing showroom you guys have there. It's really great that you can test out everybody's parts so they could send them in and really know that they're going to get what they're looking for and the, and the cut's going to be right and they could test it out on their own uh, other machines as it goes down the line from the water jet to the press break or anything else that they're going to be cutting. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and we can also, if, if it's an impractical, like if you had a really big job or you weren't sure, we can still simulate with our software, get pretty good numbers for you.
42. So we do cycle time analysis a lot. ROI. Well, from large to small, it seems like flow from cut just about anything. It's really great to see the different types of materials that you can cut. If you guys are looking to cut something, you have some ceramics, uh, metals, steels, titaniums, stainless steels. They can cut just about anything. It does a quick job of it. You can see it very, very clean. Not sure if that's the right machine you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for a laser or a water jet or a plasma, but we're definitely the guys to help you realize which one's going to be the best for your application. So I want to thank Flo very much for coming to our demonstration day 2023. It was our first, first virtual demonstration day. It was great to see you guys from Kent, Washington, to be able to actually see your plant and your demo room. And now we know exactly how you guys are one of the biggest around. You've been around longer than anybody basically inventing these machines. And we're happy to be selling and working with you guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Sterling. Thank you very much. You have a great day. Thanks, everybody, for visiting us here. We've got a few more segments coming up. Hope you've enjoyed everything. If you need any financing, we can help you out. I'll see more videos on these machines. Go to machinerytube.com. Type in water jet. You'll see all types of different water jets, as well as visiting flow. Thank you very much. Have a great, great day.